Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Are you having issues with buying and selling of cryptos on Binance platform directly from your bank or probably you are not happy with the service charge that comes with buying crypto or selling of your crypto directly from your bank uh, that's a local bank. So this video is actually for you. So in this video, I'm going to walk us through the P2P platform, that's peer-to-peer platform of Binance and this is an alternative means of buying crypto or selling crypto on Binance platform. So sit back and enjoy the video. So the channel, if you're a new visitor, um, welcome back. If you're not a visitor, thank you for always watching my video. So do like this video if you find it helpful and don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon next to the subscription button thanks as you do that so straight into the video uh, like i said in this video we are going to look at uh, how to buy and sell on the p2p market in 2021 sorry 2022 i will also do a video for the mobile part of this uh, like i said i will always try as much as possible to do a video for the mobile as much as uh, the web that's the desktop so uh straight into it when you log in this is what you this is the home page of binance so what you need to do is to move to trade if you hover on top of trade down here you see p2p all right so uh, i'm going to show you the p2p market and how it works so we are not technically going to buy and sell okay so uh first of all before you do anything on p2p uh you need to fund your p2p wallet okay um later on uh, if you want me to do a walkthrough of the different types of wallet that we have on finance do let me know in the comment section below and i'll be happy to do that so first of all before you click on this p2p market you need to go to wallets and if you click on overview you see all your wallet accounts so we have different wallet accounts on finance all right so we we'll have the overview which houses all your wallets we we'll have the fiat the whatever so what we need to look at is the funding okay so this funding is what actually carries your p2p money okay so uh this is just for us to have an idea of this i will reference it later on when we go deeper into the p2p uh, trading or p2p buying and selling so if we go back to trade over over trade and then you go down to p2p and click on p2p so this will take you to the p2p market on binance all right so when you get to the p2p market on binance now you over here you can see yeah this pops up to tell you that you need to accept blah 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 so you just click on okay all right so you have the buy you have the sell this is the p2p this is express so you're on p2p you have the buy of the cell right so you these are the different uh, cryptos that you can actually buy or sell via p2p busdt btc busd bnb and the rest all right so now the on here you need to be very careful because as much as uh, do we have legitimate uh, traders here we also have scammers here so there are a lot of ways by or by which you can actually uh, filter out the scammers from the legitimate uh, traders. So let's assume you want to buy a, a crypto. Okay, what we need to do is now I'm in Nigeria, so I'm going to walk through with this uh, with a Nigerian Naira, uh, but it's easier. It's the same thing actually for any other currency that you you are or probably wherever you are. So uh, what we need to do first is to over here where you see fiat you switch the currency to what you want now if you are using usd sorry for people that are in probably us or anywhere with usd currency you switch to usd so what it's now going to show is okay risk here yeah, this comes up so you just click on i have agreed and confirm okay. so this what it's now showing you is every single trader via usd so what you're actually trading on now is via usd so everything you're buying is referred to usd your own currency okay so you are not going to see something like maybe cds for ghana or whatever all right so 
the next is uh for example okay i'm actually going to switch to nigeria now because it's easier for me to filter around for there for also the users that are in nigeria so i click on this and i click on ngn so you need to actually know the short uh, code per se for any uh, currency that you're looking at so click on ngn Naira. so if it tells on every single thing in ngn okay you still accept the risk and all that okay so the next thing now is for you to select your payments method so this is how i filter it out that's why i'm showing you this step-by-step -step method and now select my payment method so you have the all payments you have the bank transfer clipper cash and the rest okay so these are the different payment method now associated with nigerian ngn so if you select any other currency it shows you the different payment options within that currency right so what uh, you probably will be interested in is the bank transfer so you select the bank transfer and now if you toss down every single thing that related to bank transfer okay so it's now your local bank to your local bank so if you're buying uh, crypto so what you actually do here is to so what this actually means is now i'm buying a crypto so you want to buy it from probably this user per se yes now you are going to transfer whatever amount you want to buy to this user so that's how it works and if you move to the sell part it shows you the sell price at that point in time okay so whatever you're selling the user is actually going to transfer the money now to your bank account so it's done within local to local bank account now you, why you need to filter this down to bank transfer is that if you don't you might end up okay it didn't come up but you, you might actually end up for example you want to sell a crypto yeah then you, if you don't filter it down to bank transfer to every single person that does a bank transfer sometimes the money is sent to your fiat and it's not what you want yeah i think because some people actually trade via fiat so the fiat later on explain it is just like uh, a virtual money per se yeah, i think i'll break it down later on uh, when i'll probably i think i'm going to do a video on the wallet so when i'll do a video on that i'll explain it further so that's how you actually know what you want now let's assume you want to buy a, a usd worth of ten thousand naira. Now I've filtered this down. I'm now going to select this and type ten thousand. Perfect. So I click on search. Now what it does is to now filter down every single person that is selling within or that because you want to buy. That means people on here are selling, All right? So it filters down to every sellers with that selling within the range of ten thousand. So one to ten thousand. As long as ten thousand is there. It can be one to ten thousand, it can be five thousand to ten thousand, five thousand fifty or whatever, but it's within the ten thousand naira range. So all these users now being shown are within the ten thousand naira range. Now this is where you need to be very careful because this is where the tricky thing comes in. So you need to know which user is a legit user or probably which user is more trustworthy. So if you now look under each user's name, you get to see a figure there you have you see the orders and you see the completion now on the orders this user have uh, have completed a 43 orders so far and this is actually a 30 day count right so these 43 orders this is the percentage completion so this this is actually more like a, a completed ratio or a percentage that's on the review part of it and every single thing collision that because uh, there are some cancelled orders there are some completed orders so how many orders have you completed out of this 43 that's this percentage you get the thing so this person has a a whole lot of orders and have, have a good completion rate yeah so within this now you know that if you look down you can see that all the completion rates are actually very good for all these users so these users are more or less trustworthy all right so if you probably didn't see any user like trustworthy here you can still move into the next page and all that and scroll down okay let's see if we can go to page 11 and see if we can get any okay there is still no bad user because every user here are actually legit from the completion order now in this case you are seeing probably five orders okay so you naturally you actually should 
uh, it's more like uh, how would I put it? You probably should just use your brain to figure out that for uh, a user that have completed one thousand uh, more than one thousand four hundred orders with more than ninety percent completion rate is better off than a user that have actually placed or completed the five order and at its its eighty percent completion rate. So you should probably choose something of this against this. So you should be considering the completed orders against completion rates whenever you're making a selection. All right, so this is actually very important for your security. That's why I spent a quite a number of time explaining this in detail, All right? So uh, that's that now, let's assume we want to go for this X exchange. We just need to click on buy USD. Yeah, and this comes up, okay? So this is the price that the user is selling at. And of course, you can still see the prices that other users are selling at. Okay, so you need to know the price that is best suited for you at that point in time. So with this now, we can just queue in at 10,000 Naira. I want to buy 10,000 Naira. So it shows me the number of USDT that I'll receive, right? And then I click buy USDT. So when I click on buy USDT, it goes to the process now of, because we don't want to buy, it's actually queue into our catalog, our order book. So I won't actually be clicking on the buy USDT. So it, when you click on it, it now shows you uh, we have to make a transfer and the rest, okay? Now, if you probably have any issues in that process, feel free to send me an email and I'm happy to walk you through that. Uh, my email will be in the description below. So feel free to send me an email and I'm happy to walk you through the issues you're having on there, right? So uh, I think that's all. The same thing actually happens for the cell part. So let's walk through the cell part quickly. So the same thing happens for the cell part. You filter everything down and then filter the amount that you want to sell. And then this shows up and you now click on the sell button and this still comes up, okay? So with this, you can actually filter down your selling and all that, all right? So this is how they buy, how you can actually buy and sell on P2P market. So uh, the next next video I'm going to be creating soon, so do actually subscribe to the channel because the next one I'll be dropping is how to be a match and how to actually create uh, more like uh, an order, how to be in control of your own order, how to create your own buy and sell order to actually appear on these places. So. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next one. Cheers.